Hello, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Last time we left off, we were just about to uh, engage the enemy in in, a, in an assault with, uh, with our ally, the King of... I don't even think he's really that much of a king right now. He's just a duke. He's a duke of Wales. Um, is sending a thousand stack across the strait, who probably get massacred, but we will send our army in from behind to reinforce him. We've got the King of Scotland sending some forces as well. It's it's basically completely impossible for them to win this, but you never know. Uh, weirder, weirder things have happened, and um, the AI is famous for just being the worst. Just, just being the worst. I don't know how I got this claim, but it's, it's absolutely fantastic. And there we go. There's our 3,000 stack with our allies uh, about to crush them. Just, just crush them brutally. Uh, I'm actually surprised. The King of Scotland is actually winning this war against the King of England. It's probably because of the massive revolt currently going on in his territory, but it seems as though, uh, unless, wait a minute, I think this is, this wasn't the King of Scotland. Who was this? I think this is, this is the revolt, actually. I might be on the side of the revolters here. Uh, I'm not 100% certain, but... All I know is that we just we just slaughtered we just slaughtered our war. Our war is the only thing that matters. Um, and what's going on? Let's see what's going on in the greater world. Uh, the Holy Roman Empire seems bigger than it was before. Interesting. Uh, the whole world really isn't in that much chaos. The Byzantine Empire is falling apart, but the whole world really isn't in that bad a state right now. Uh, the Siberian wastes and Ungara, Ugar, Uger, Uger. Ugger! It's an ugger. It's an ug. Er. Ugra. Ugra. Ugger. Stupid. Anyway. So we have. Oh man! Now we've got a freaking four thousand stack here. Yeah, we are. We are just crushing this. We're we're just gonna crush this. Oh man! The seven hundred units are attacking. They're attacking. Oh, they defeated those twelve units. That's that's so sad. I'm certain we're going to lose with our 4,000 stack versus his 736 stack. That's, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all. We're doing fantastically here. In fact, I'm going to increase the speed up to speed 3. There we go. Uh, through staged war games and large-scale exercises, I feel con confident I can master one of the main military disciplines. Interesting. Light foot leader, cavalry leader. I already have heavy foot leader, so I might as well go for light foot leader. I don't know how much we have uh, cavalry. Uh, it looks like which one we have. We actually have a lot of light infantry and heavy infantry. We have a good amount of cavalry as well. So really, we don't have that bad of cavalry. Let's go over here and crush him real quick. And boom! There we go. Crush, 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 crush. Fantastic. Victory! And then let's... Ooh! The Scottish-English War has ended. King Dung... Oh, wow. He won his war. I don't. I think he might have only just gained a little territory, though. I don't know what he was warring for, necessarily. Um, anyway, I need to head over here. Help this guy out in sieging. Siege down this other territory. We're at 80% war score. We just need to get to 100. Um, Rindari. Ah, my son is of legal age and just became a skilled tactician. That's absolutely fantastic. I don't think he's really that good, though. Not compared to my, uh, sparring partner, my vassal. Uh, he is just, just so happy with me. Just so happy with me. He's a friend. He's fulfilled his ambition. I've sent him a gift. Uh, I defeated him and declared war, but, you know, it's all, it's all uh, water under the bridge at this point. Oh, he's back. He's back and trying to re-siege his territory, and he's about to be crushed by uh, Lagin. Wait, no, not Lagin, by Agrilia. Yeah, that must be like a vassal of the King of Scotland. Man, this is fantastic, though. We are just, we are just s soaring along. We are, we are doing fantastically. So, come on. There we go. Okay. And 92, really. It's, it's only 92. That, I mean, that's all right. We can just, you know, crush down the next holding in this area. But that guy is, is really just determined to stay independent. He does not want to be under the boot heel of Kanakta. Uh, betrothed can marry. Hold on here. Boom. Uh, oh, yes, here we go. The Prince of England. There we are. Fantastic. 
So now they're married, which means I think I have a non-aggression pact with England now. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, what are you talking about? My daughter is married to your son. Uh, hold on. Uh, my daughter is married to your brother. Oh, okay. I still can't... Really? That is... I do not understand at all. I obviously do not understand how things work with England. I had to break up a fight between my daughter, Dubgillian, and another child today. Dubgillian's heart is filled with envy. Hmm. That's increased intrigue. <clears throat> what was I training her for? Oh my god, she's betrothed to the petty kingdom of, of Gwynildia. That's terrible. Um... Dubgilia, Dubgilia. She... Envious is not... Other children are just selfish. Envious is not that bad. Um, beat some respect into her. Talk to her about kindness. Kind? No, we don't want kindness. I mean, it's it's difficult, you know. That's that's a hard choice. Envy is the deadliest of all sins. Uh, let's just do that. She gets happy with upbringing from that, and she gets increased intrigue, which is wonderful. Ah, oh, you're... Why are you trying to siege... He's just given up. He's just given up. And and the vassal is not going to let him give up. The vassal is just going to beat him into submission. Oh, that's brutal. Oh my god, that's terrible. Mm. Mm. Soda. Wonderful. Alright, let's offer peace and enforce our demands. Boom! Uh, I, I now have uh, Conquest for Lagine. I thought I had a weak claim that could be pressed. Why isn't it mine now? I'm... I'm very confused. Does that just mean that it's independent now? Did I put someone else in charge? I'm very confused. Um, looks like I can declare war almost immediately again. So, did I just help it to gain independence? What did I just do there? I, I, all I saw was that I had a weak claim that could be pressed, and I just decided to declare war. I really should have paid more attention. Um, darn, that actually sucks greatly. But, I mean, we did one on other war, which means uh, we have a ton of money to work with. And I think I can just straight declare war again. No, I can't. That's that's tributary. That, that would make them a tributary state. Uh, I have to have a valid Cassius Belly to declare war on you. Um, and I think I have a truce with someone now. Who do I have a truce with? Um, I don't have a truce with you, so... I must have a truce. Oh, I think I know what happened. I think I have a truce with this guy. No, that's just a defense. What is that? He's defending against someone in a war. Okay. No, yeah, I don't have a truce with anyone. I think I understand what happened there. I only had a weak claim, and someone else must have had a strong claim. And so they took over the territory. Um, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, well. Now we just need to wait. We need to wait. And then hopefully uh, I can declare war on this dude and just murder him in a horribly violent way. Ah, uh, my god. King of Scotland is going to war against the Scottish Revolt. Sure, why not? Go ahead. Go to war. I'm not going to help you, but you can go to war. Mmm. <laughs> Alright, I mean, right now it's just kind of a waiting game. I don't think there's too much to do. I could pass some feudal taxation laws, but not really too interested right now. City taxation is going well. What is feudal taxation? Normally, feudal lords are exempt from paying taxes to their liege. However, other arrangements are fairly common, if not well-liked. Um, okay, so that would be making my vassals pay. Yeah, like this, these two, I think, would be making those two pay. Um, is now of legal age, and she's a charismatic negotiator. Fantastic. I think that means she did very well. Uh, yes, it does. Wow. Okay, she did fantastic. My God, she did amazing. Okay. Um, betrothed can marry. Who are you? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Prince Duncan of Scotland. Hold on. What is going on? Too many stuff. Too many things are popping up. I caught my young ward, Eckhard, torturing a rat behind the stables today. Let the lad have his fun. Um, no. Talk to him about kindness. Uh, cruel. I don't know. That gives him more intrigue. Am I training him for intrigue? I don't know if I'm training him for intrigue. He's got terrible intrigue. So let's try to make him kind. 
He has the kind trait. It's funny, he went from torturing rats to being kind. Um... Oh my god, here we go. As you replace your training dummy with a real person, you find facing an intelligent enemy is a lot harder, but also more rewarding. After many bruises and cuts, it's clear that you've gained experience and have better control of a fight than ever before. Good fighting, Earl Ed of Brafine. Uh, fantastic, and let's just accept that. Um, having spent countless hours swinging your sword, it's clear that your technique is getting better. You know the essence of every possible strike to utilize in a fight. The hard training is paying off. My god, I'm getting an insane amount of martial right now. 16. That's pretty good. That's not as good. I had this one character. What is it with, with episodes that I just go on these story mission storylines for? Hold on a sec. So you replace... Uh, that's literally the same thing. That proc twice. Okay. Um, your ability to take down any man in a brawl is widely renowned. Many speak of your prowess and how it would be unwise to make a fight with you. It feels good to be recognized. Wow, that's fantastic. Um, I've watched my daughter Dub Gilia play with another child yesterday and noticed she didn't want to share her toys. Uh, charitable greedy. I just had to face the same thing with her, I think. Um, greedy increases what? Tax modifier. Modifier. Uh, and charitable increases diplomacy, but by a lot. Yeah, let's, let's give her a lesson in charity. That's fantastic. My liege. Oh, fantastic. More. Ah, oh, so many good things are happening. All right, let's stop here so I can tell a bit of a story about, um... Uh, about something that just happened recently in one of our games. Oh, I could increase our cavalry. We've, we've got pretty good amount of cavalry. I don't want to just do that, though, because let's save up for heavy infantry or siege equipment or shipbuilding or something like that. We don't really need military organization right now because we have a ton of organized. We have, like, 30k supply limit, basically. So we've got no issues with supplies or attrition or anything right now. But... <clears throat> Uh, uh, increasing heavy infantry would be fantastic. They would get a lot stronger. So, um, anyway, uh, so recently I was playing a game with my friend, and I was playing, uh, he has all the DLCs, as I, I've said previously, and I was playing basically a guy who we made the King of Finland right in here, and my, my character I was playing was King Strig, uh, the Brute of Finland. And, um, for a while before I became the King of Finland, I was, uh, Poland's liege. My friend was playing Poland, and I was just, or he was my liege. I was just basically under his heel the entire time because I was terrible at the game. Well, I um, became amazing at Marshall. It got to the point where I had like 27 Marshall, and my friend was at war, and he was facing an overwhelming force from Denmark. There was like a one... Th we, I was leading... My character was one of his commanders and was leading an army that was like 2,000 stack versus a 3,000 stack. It was pretty bad. And they attacked, and somehow they won. Somehow... I mean, not somehow they won. Somehow we won. The, the fight, and it was insane. I had made a joke a little while earlier about my character facing like 7,000 men alone, but we came to the conclusion that because he was so strong with Marshall, um, he basically made up for 1,000 men. <laughs> And it, he ended up gaining the Berserker trait from that battle and getting up to 31 Marshall, which was absolutely insane. It's it's the most I think I will ever see. And that guy, he, he was a legend. He was an absolute legend in this game. So it was absolutely fantastic. But anyway, back to this game, uh, after I just keep going on and on with story mode. Um, is there anyone who I'm their heir, strangely enough? No. Because that would be nice. I could just plot to kill someone and, and get their territory. But I don't think I don't think that's the case. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Oh, come on, get me a claim. I need a claim. I need claims. Who are you? Osirij. Why do you have 96 units just moving for no reason? They have then spawned? What, what is that? No longer the court chaplain. Oh, come on, what happened? What happened to him? Uh, he died of a natural death at age 51. Uh, that's not that old, but, I mean, you don't really live to that old in the Middle Ages. Um, court chaplain. Uh, that is actually pretty good, so let's just, let's just appoint this guy. And instead of, uh, improving relations, let's try to, um, actually, hold on here. I could hold on here. Hold on here. Could I... I could try to request... Ex no? God dang it. 
What's your your opinion of him is twelve and your opinion of me is two? Oh come on, man. What if I what if I send him a gift? Send the Pope a gift. Whoa! That's a lot of money to send as a gift. Nah, let's let's just uh Yeah, let's just research cultural tech. Let, let's just research cultural tech in Sildara. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let, let's keep moving. Uh that's that's pretty bad. Alright, it's ten eighty six. We're doing pretty well. Um, we just, we've just we won multiple wars. We just need to actually be able to conquer somewhere. Um, these guys are only independent because of us. Uh, declare war. Yeah, the only thing I can do is make them a tribute, which is not useful at all. I would rather have them be... Oh, I would rather have them actually be a um, uh, vassal to me. Um, every time my son at Cod meets a stranger, it looks like he might faint. Lad is a bit shy. That's no good. We want him to be a Gregaria. Shyness is a terrible curse. I'll talk with him. Uh, getting along with everyone again. Gregarious. Fantastic. Gregarious is a fantastic trait. And so many kids, I'm just constantly dealing with my kids. Um, Pope Nicholas II. It might actually not have been a bad idea to increase relations with you. I forgot that the Pope had died and that I needed to get... Uh, better relations with this new pope. I feel my daughter Dubgilia is too cynical for her age. She's clear-sighted. Uh, Dubgilia, I think cynical is good for intrigue, isn't it? Yeah, cynical is good for intrigue. Uh, nothing the strap won't cure. No, no, she's clear-sighted. We'll let her have cynical. Cynical, being good cynically and diplomatically wise is pretty cool. That's pretty good. Uh, or good at intrigue and, um diplomacy. That That's very cool. Uh, yeah, I mean... Wow, that revolt is... How is that revolt doing? Okay, he's winning. Uh, of the Scottish revolt. I think he's winning. I think, I think our guy is winning, but just barely. He's not doing too well. He's only... He's got a thousand stacks sieging down his territory right now. Oh, no, wait! We're... We are on the side of the revolt, apparently. Uh, I didn't get an alliance breaker or anything like that, right? No, okay. I've got none of that. All I, the only bad things I have is, is, uh, lustful and gluttonous. And really, I think gluttonous is the only really bad one. Yeah. Yeah, gluttonous is the only really bad one. Um, throughout the day, you've caught yourself grinding your teeth. Oh, once, uh, suddenly you realize why you're in a bad mood. You can't abide lazy people in my presence anymore. I'll get him to be less slothful when I'm around. Here we go, Okay. Uh, he, Photo Patron, he, my son loses the trait Slothful, uh, and 11% chance of him gaining the trait Stressed. Um, or I could gain the, or I could possibly, I think that's better, because losing Slothful is always good. I don't think that happened, though. Hmm. Happened with my son? I think this was him. He, he actually did lose the trait Slothful. And he didn't get stressed. Okay, that's fantastic. Um, King Merchad of Mumu is trying to s usurp my, my title. Oh, Merchad of Mumu. How dare you. Uh, who is this guy? Where is he from? He is from there. Um, Chancellor Earl Rangabald of Ermuham is supposedly traveling around Sildara trying to find both documents and supporters to help him legitimize a claim on my title. I need to do something about it. Make him disappear, lose 10 piety. That is very worthwhile. Although I do need piety to make an, a kingdom. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make a kingdom. Try to bribe him, lose 50 gold, or I'm better off. Let's make him disappear. 50% chance of an attempt on his life uh, is made, or 50% chance the assassination attempt fails. Let's try to make the attempt. Otherwise, he'll get the message. The assassination succeeded! The troublesome chancellor was roaming around the county, trying to fabricate a claim on my title is no more, and there is no trace of it leading back to me. Excellent. Wonderful. At age 66, my acquaintance uh, died under suspicious circumstances. Yeah, what a shock. It's almost like he was trying to backstab me. But it's not happening anymore. Anyway. So, how's my tech going? So, if we're getting better cultural tech now... Ah! Pretty good cultural tech. The military spread rate of tech is absolutely fantastic. But, um... I don't know if that's that important. Ooh, we can actually upgrade our siege equipment and stuff now. Uh, let's do siege equipment first. So we can siege stuff down faster. That's always important. Always important. And then we'll get heavy infantry. Um, 
Uh, it appears I would be better spy master than Queen Gwendolyn. Uh, oh yeah, my wife is the current spy master. She has 11 intrigue, and there is our timer. Uh, looks like this will be our uh, cliffhanger here. Will he become the new spy master? Uh, he will. He will. I'm just going to send a gift to my wife. Make her like me more, and, and then make him spy master. Boom. So I guess it's not really a uh, cliffhanger, so to speak. Um, but, uh, yeah, that is that is that for this episode. Um, not too much progress was made. It's actually quite uh, depressing. We didn't really study technology over there. Uh, he's only one better. Is there anyone who's completely better? No. No, not really. Um, but, yeah, I mean... We didn't get that much, unfortunately. Uh, I thought we were going to get Lagine, but it, that didn't really happen. Uh, instead, we just helped them with their independence war, basically. Uh, and, yeah, but uh, that is that for now. I will see you in the next episode, where hopefully we can get this frickin' claim on Osrige and uh, get back to the wars and becoming king. Uh, anyway, uh, have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you later. Thanks.